Hi, in this video we will show you how to run Panel ARDL in, uh, in Stera. So Panel ARDL is a cross-sectional ARDL model in Stera, a methodology that is uh, possible to be run uh, in Stera that have three main indicators to estimate that is uh, that are beam move, pole mean group, mean group and dynamic fixed effect. As the first time you are watching one of my videos, do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, the next videos and uh, let me a thumbs up it be a pleasure to know that all the four we are making is uh, helping you improve your level in statistical model for for social sciences. So ARDL model is a methodology that can be run using uh, panel data. So in panel ARDL model, the uh, first step that is not compulsory is to run co-integration test and co-integration test. I'm going to show you uh, the three main co-integration test used in, uh, in data. Uh, let us go in statistics, uh, longitudinal panel data, co-integrate data, test for co-integration. So when I go in test for co-integration, we see that in Stata there are three main uh, co-integration tests that are Cow, Pedroni and Waster Learns. So uh, the only test that we roll on non-balanced panel like uh, what we are going to use here is uh, the Cow test. We have a non-balanced balance uh, containing data in macroeconomic data like uh, foreign direct investment, export, GDP, gross fixed capital formation, import, openness, economic openness, inflation and so on. So uh, we do use this data set in order to show you how to implement uh, a treatment indicator of panel ARDL. So uh, the first step uh, to run the panel ARDL model is to install the package XTPMG. So XTPMG is the package that is used in order to, uh, to run a panel ARDL model. You need to just use the command SSC install XTPMG comma uh, replace uh, replace is that is there already there is already a XTPMG package installed in was data it will be replaced by the most up-to-date version of the package so uh, I already installed XTPMG in my, uh, my data so I will not do so those but if you, you have never installed a XTPMG in data you just need to uh, run this command in order to install a XTPMG that is the first thing to do so the second step is to step our data to be uh, panel data so I will type here in command uh, xt set my individual variable is id and my here variable is here that one so I'll click on ok and you can see that uh, my panel has been generated uh, and time variable uh, run from 1990 to uh, 2018 data has been set as panel data so to uh, run a co-integration test especially how once we use the command xt point test or integration test uh, followed by uh, the name of the test that we are going to run which is cow test and name of the variable that we are going to test uh, for integration so for this example i'm going to test the integration among uh, gdp in current uh, us dollar as a uh, foreign direct investment and economic openness so that three variable we are going to test for co-integration then uh, we can select the command and run and, run, and you can see that uh, the result of our cow uh, test for co-integration is now uh, available there are some statistics that are missing for uh, modified decay fuller statistic and augmented decay fuller statistics so we just have a statistic for adjusted modified uh, decay fuller test and uh, adjusted decay fuller test and here we have p value that less than five percent for uh, augmented decay fuller augmented modified decay fuller and adjusted decay fuller is a little bit more than five percent so we can uh, the null hypothesis the null hypothesis in co-integration test is in cow co-integration test is that there is no co-integration so uh, using for example the adjusted modified decay fuller test we can uh, reject that null hypothesis meaning that there is a co-integration the co-integration among our variable but it's compulsory because in uh, panel ARDL model whatever is full mean group in group or um, dynamic fixed effect the method estimation consideration the long run and the short run equation the uh, co-integration test is uh, not compulsory after that run the first estimator of panel ARDL which is uh, the pool mean group so I said uh, earlier that uh, we have uh, three main indicators for uh, panel ARDL we have uh, pool mean group mean group uh, we have dynamic fixed effect that uh, corresponds uh, that is similar to what we have like fixed effect in uh, simple panel data analysis 
So we have pool mean group that is uh, close to uh, pool regression in panel data analysis. So we'll uh, run our pool mean group. You just use the command xtpmg. So we have the common pet xtpmg followed by uh, different variable that are GDP, uh, foreign direct investment, and uh, economic openness. You see it by the d dot first difference of uh, our different variable in our pool pool mean group. Uh, we use uh, different for this for uh, all our variable and the comma after the comma we specify the long run equation that just uh, give the relationship in level not in difference among GDP foreign direct investment. Let us notice that uh, the first condition in panel ideal is that uh, our variable need to have to be uh, stationary or first different stationary. We have both uh, order of co-integration in our variable. We can use ADL or we can also uh, run ADL when we have all variables that are integrated of order one. So here is a specification of our long run equation LR. Parenthesis we have a list of variables that are uh, for this uh, example GDP in current US dollar. We have foreign direct investment and openness for our panel so replace uh, PMG so PMG is uh, the indicator the pool mean group in, in, uh, so we just select highlight our command and then run we can take a little bit of time for the indicator to converge after 0 1 2 3 4 iteration so after 4 iteration we have the result of our pool mean group in indicator the uh, pool mean indicator is estimated here and you can see that foreign direct investment have a long run negative impact on the GDP while openness, economic openness have a positive long run effect on the GDP. So uh, all coefficients are significant for a short run relationship, foreign direct investment, openness is uh, significant at the short run. So uh, the uh, error correction term is significant but not negative as uh, expected. You can also run a mean group estimator. Uh, the, so the only difference in the mean group is the reserve word mg instead of pmg. So we select our command for mg and we can see that there is a, a error message uh, saying that maximum number of iterations exceed, uh, meaning that our mean group estimator cannot converge. So we'll uh, try the dynamic fixed effects uh, estimator. We have our dynamic fixed effects. So we'll just uh, replace the uh, name of estimator by TFE for dynamic fixed effects. Then click on run. And our dynamic fixed effect model has been run. And you can see that in the uh, long run relation, that is the, uh, the relation that is up here. Uh, foreign direct investment is uh, can be significant only at 10 percent level because the p-value is 0, 0, 0.07. So 7% uh, negative and openness have rather negative impact on the GDP but the effect is not significant. The short run we have a uh, significant effect at 5% level, only uh, the error correction uh, term that is significant. We have uh, economic openness that can be significant at 10% and have a negative uh, short run uh, effect on the GDP. Another thing that we can do is to run a Hausmann test as in a simple panel to see what is the better model among a whole mean group, mean group or dynamic fixed effect. So we notice that our mean group indicator does not converge so we'll test uh, among a whole mean group and dynamic fixed effects. So we'll use the Hausmann test for uh, dynamic fixed effect. Uh, notice that for dynamic fixed effect we need to use capital letter because it's very sensitive in the program the programming in data the reserve word that we use were in capital letter so if you don't put it in capital it will not run so uh, dynamic fixed Hausmann dynamic fixed effect the booming group sigma more is the option here so we select our Hausmann test and then run so the p-value of our Hausmann test is uh, more than five percent. So here, the consistent our model that is supposed to be the good model here is a dynamic fixed effect. So uh, we reject the null hypothesis, meaning that coefficient that is uh, consistent on the null hypothesis is coefficient of the dynamic fixed effect, and we uh, just accept this consistence of our, our dynamic fixed effect is we'll use the dynamic fixed effect in our interpretation as well we can uh, generate a lock of uh, GDP run a model with dependent variable in lock we can run our pool mean group indicator with uh, log GDP as dependent variable as previously in the long run we can see that according to this model with lock uh, GDP uh, foreign direct investment also have negative impact uh, Openness is not significant at 5%, but at 10%, but at 10% no significant at the uh, short run. More our coefficient, and you 
can also see if whether or not they pull the mean group will converge in this case. Uh, it's the same problem in valid new uh, variable name. So it's the same problem that previously we can estimate our dynamic fixed effect. And we can see that in the long run, in the short run, there is no significant. In the long run, we can see that according to our dynamic fixed effect, the openness is half a negative in effect in the long, in the short run on the GCP, but the effect on the long run is positive but not significant. So not significant. And we can also uh, look at uh, Hosman test as we did previously. Put the end to this uh, tutorial for now, and we hope you have been uh, very helpful in you to understand how to estimate the panel here using the three main indicators that are poor mean group, mean group, and uh, dynamic fixed effect. And if you have not done yet, do subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video. And uh, let me a thumbs up to help me, to encourage me to produce more video to help you improve your skills in statistical model for social sciences.